Welcome to the Eastern Partnership Territorial Cooperation Support Program. Today we're going to go through a video concerning the budget of our program. And this video is meant to help you to apply for our program. Good luck! Eligible direct costs are those costs incurred by the beneficiaries which meet all the following criteria. 1. Incurred during the implementation of the action. 2. Indicated in the estimated overall budget of for the action. 3. Necessary for the implementation of the action. 4. Identifiable and verifiable, in particular being recorded in the accounting records. 5. Comply with the requirements of applicable tax and social legislation. 6. Reasonable, justified and comply with the requirements of sound financial management, in particular regarding economy and efficiency. <laughs> the budget may include a contingency reserve not exceeding 5% of the estimated direct eligible costs, which can only be used with the prior written authorization of the contracting authority. Eligible indirect costs incurred in carrying out the action may be eligible for a flat rate funding, but the total cost must not exceed 7% of the estimated total eligible direct cost. What are the ineligible costs? 1. Debts and debt service charges, like interest. 2. Provisions for losses or potential future liabilities. 3. Costs financed by another action receiving EU funding. 4. Purchase and of land and buildings. 5. Currency exchange loss. 6. Credit to third parties. 7. Taxes, duties and charges including VAT 8. Contributions in kind 9. Costs for actions implemented before the start or after the expiry of the implementation period 10. Salary costs for personnel of the state administration <laughs> What to consider? That the budget will be developed together with all the partners the budget will include the, all the project costs, both the EU contribution and the co-finance. The budget must be realistic and cost-efficient. The costs presented in the budget shall be identifiable and verifiable, reasonable and justified. Only those costs are eligible that are necessary for the project implementation. The budget is both a cost estimate and an overall ceiling for the eligible costs. Problems revealed in the budget, for example, arithmetical errors, inaccuracies, unrealistic costs, may give rise to requests for clarification and modification. The budgetary allocation per applicant should be clear and identifiable. <laughs> Evaluation the budget and cost effectiveness of the action is assessed in the evaluation process. Assessment questions as per evaluation grids are 1. Are all the activities appropriately reflected in the budget? 2. Is the ratio between the estimated costs and the expected results satisfactory? The score allocated to question 1 is 5 points and to question 2 is 10 points. Structure Worksheet 1 Budget of the action. Worksheet 2. Justification of budget for the action. Worksheet 3. Expected sources of funding and summary of the estimated costs. The budget consists of three working sheets and all of them will be filled in. Each cost will be indicated in a separate line. Workshop 1 will be filled in for the whole duration of the action as well as for its first 12 months. Worksheet 2 will reflect justifications for the whole duration of the action. Worksheet 3 will indicate the amount requested 
from the contracting authority and other expected sources of funding for the whole action. Worksheet 1. Budget of the action. It is done based on the action plan prepared for the application form. Data shall be entered for the whole duration of the project and for the first 12 months separately. Costs must be distinguished as per each applicant. Co-applicants and affiliated entities presented in separate budget lines. If costs are prorated, please indicate the appropriate percentage along with each budget line. For example, if the accountant devotes only half of its time to the project, the respective budget line shall indicate 50% of the budget line. Description would be 1.1, 2.1. Project accountant, 50%. Applicants are requested to pay attention to and follow the directions given in the footnotes of the worksheets. Budget Heading 1 – Human Resources Budget Heading 2 – Travel Budget Heading 3 – Equipment and Supplies Budget Heading 4 – Local Office Budget Heading 5 – Other Costs, like Services Budget Heading 6 – Other Contingency and Indirect Costs Worksheet 1. The budget of the actions, column A, put the proper description of the particular costs. Column B. Indicate the respective type of unit of for each budget line. Column C. Provide the total number of the units for the project duration. Column D. Please indicate the price of a single unit. Column E. Total cost summarizes the cost per each budget line. C multiplied by D equals E. Column F is the same as in column D. Column G number the units as it was done in column C, but only for 12 months. Column H is the same as in column D. Column I summarizes the costs for the 12 months. G multiplied per H. Worksheet 2. Justification. Column A. Copy the same data as in Worksheet 1. Column B. Indicate which activity from the action plan the budget line belongs to and clarify the necessity of the cost. Column C. Provide the calculation of how the cost was estimated as well as what was the basis for the unit cost. For example, historical figures like past experiences, market price, etc. Worksheet 3. Expected sources of funding.
provide the amount requested from the EU. Provide the other expected sources of funding for the total duration. EU contribution expressed as a percentage of the total eligible cost should not exceed 90%. Please pay attention to the instructions given in the footnotes. Was it difficult? For sure not easy. In any case, good luck to you and goodbye.